Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, this is H Time Kick 713, coming with a new review today of the LeBron 12 Instinct. This is my first pickup of the LeBron 12 for this year, so kind of excited to show you what uh, the shoe out for you today. Now let's go to the uh, official colorway of the shoe. If we look at the box, we're looking at K Purple, they're calling it, a Hyper Grape, a Hyper Crimson, and a Hyper Turquoise. So a lot of Hyper in there. So that's the official colorway of the shoe. And this one originally, uh, well, it is retailing for $200. It comes out in various sizes, from youth to girl sizes to toddlers. So you definitely could fit out the whole family if you wanted to. So this particular one, I was able to get she pick up on Black Friday sale. Um, I picked it up for about $138. After taxes, about $149. Uh, pretty great deal, 25% off, uh, an additional $15 off, then uh, free shipping. So I really was able to save on this, and that's why I decided to kind of move on this one. It was definitely a good uh, price point for me to start uh, getting some of the LeBron 12s. But kind of talking about price point, you know, with the LeBron 12s, being at that $200 model, um, that's kind of my kind of my kind of price point where I kind of have to really decide which ones I'm going to get. If I take a look um, from last season, I only got two models of the LeBron 11. Of course, I didn't want to pass up a guy. I, was, I had an opportunity to win, or won a raffle on the what the, what the LeBrons, so definitely picked it up. But other than that, um, in terms of the high model, I only picked up one other one, which was the South Beach. And this one here, I picked up for about $128. So definitely getting uh, the new model for about uh, 138 that just released one week um, prior was definitely a great uh, pickup for me. So I said, well, let's move on it. So let's take a look, uh, let's look at the details of the shoe. And actually, when I first got it, I held off on sending out the review because I ran into an issue. And uh, I want to bring that up to you guys, especially if you guys are looking to get this shoe. But we'll look, look at the details close up. You know, they're calling this thing on the front portion of the shoe Mega Fuse. So it looks good. We've got a clear shot of that. So that's what you got seen on the outer lining. Kind of gives it still breathability and support. Very interesting design on that. Of course, he's going with the rounded laces and uh, the dynamic fly wire. Interesting, um, kind of that lace in the middle there with the fly wire there. And an interesting point here where the tongue comes in, you know, they kind of have this kind of shoelace area where a lot of the shoelaces come through. Got the 12 uh, kind of circles there for the 12th model. Of course, the LeBron James logo. And work our way to the top, you see there uh, the tag with the LeBron James autograph. Let's see if there's anything underneath. Got, got a nice, actually, nice little design here underneath the uh, autograph section there. We'll get over to the sides of the shoe. You can get the hyperposite there with the Nike swoosh. And of course, a lot of people have commented on, uh, seen other reviews, the kind of the swoosh being kind of low. Let's look at the swoosh and we see the details on that. So they got some design to more than just seeing the color of the purple. And there's been some photographs of this kind of this material here where it kind of bronzes out. Um, but it really doesn't happen just on plain view and I say that's more of a photograph trick with the lights we we'll go back to the rear you just kind of see here uh, they kind of kind of get that it's more of an open entryway to get your foot into the shoe it's a little easier for me in particular to get this shoe in but if we look at the back you know, they kind of got that uh, LeBron logo there going there and also they have this tag you can almost use it as a pull-up tag but of course they kind of got this uh, LeBron James kind of like this almost Da Vinci type of uh, man um, design right there. Of course, if we look at the close up there, 1234, that's LeBron James's um, birthday. I believe that's location Beaverton, um, Oregon, the United States, and NSRL, which is the Nike Science Research Lab, I believe. Of course, this um, this model here, the instinct was kind of based on LeBron James, a 2020 eyesight, his keen uh, instincts and you know speed and mobility, much like a hummingbird. So they have a hummingbird. Uh, Design right there, or a logo picture. And on the back side of the uh, kind of that tag there, you know, they have a saying here in the purple, uh, something to the effect of, you know, made to the exact code sequence of uh, 
the next generation athlete, Mr. LeBron James. And I guess there's maybe some code sequence here. They're trying to uh, signify with the square, kind of like a DNA sequence or some sort. If we look here on the inside, you know, they have the, just on the foam there, uh, on the middle of the, the 12. You know, as you, as you can see, is this, you know, it's kind of disappointing uh, for a $200 retail shoe. You see the kind of the 12, it's starting to wear off there. Kind of disappointing on that. You know, it's so interesting how some shoes do that. Some shoes do it better than others, but I haven't worn it this too much where you can see it's kind of starting to really wear off. But at this point, $200, you expect that not to wear off as soon. If we look at the inner portion of the outside shoe, here we got the hypopause material. And of course, uh, the unique thing about all the shoes is definitely this uh, pattern design here at the bottom. Kind of got that hexagonal type designs with the, um, the zoom units for cushioning. I think there's about five of them here throughout the design. A great departure from his previous models on the, the 11 and the 10 for this one. And I think one thing unique about the back side when I was wearing it, as you, as you see here, take a look at that where that zoom unit is. You know, it's kind of protruding uh, much higher than the outer portion of the sole. Very different from the other ones where it's the entire, you know, back heel hits the ground. It's only going to be this zoom in area, um, which you're going to feel. It takes a while to get you used to. Um, after a while, you will get used to it, but just, just create kind of more of a, if you take a look here, more of a wobbly type feel to the shoe uh, when you're walking, actually, compared to like maybe like the, the 11. You know, the 11 doesn't... Uh, doesn't wobble as much, you know, when you're walking as much the uh, as you see here the uh, the 12. Not a big deal, but uh, there's something you had to get used to. So the big thing about this shoe for me, I want to run into, and actually this is the point I wanted to bring up for you, is you guys looking to get this shoe. So I did try this shoe out in the store first when it first came out, which was the Heart of the Lion shoe, uh, which I really actually did like that colorway, and it seemed to fit well because I was trying to find a size for future reference. Uh, what was a shoe uh, size that would work well? So I found my size, which is my normal size. But when I got this model in the mail, um, I ran into some issues, and uh, that's why I kind of had to wait for doing this review. And one thing about unique about this shoe, we're gonna take a close up here that caused me issues is the shoelace system, which is very de great departure from uh, many other shoes you see out here from the Katie's, the Kobe's. But you see there on that second lace as it goes underneath the the lace. Um, is going is going underneath the, uh, the the upper here, and it's and it's not contained on the uh, you know the flower wire where it's on the outside. So what happened this particular shoe for me on the right side of my shoe, this created a knot feeling right underneath where this shoelace goes underneath. And if you ever go to a store, you haven't bought one of these, but if you're able to pick up a LeBron 12, put your finger underneath the lining, you're gonna possibly feel a knot right underneath where that uh, shoelace goes under. And for me, on the right side of my shoe, this was causing a lot of pain. Um, it was actually pressing down and pushing against my foot, almost like a plastic kind of protruding. So, something to be aware about. Now, I was eventually able to get rid of that, uh, that pain feeling. What I had to do was I stuffed it, you know, with the paper that comes with it, um, and made this thing kind of possibly stretch out. So, it took about a couple of days. But I finally got that uh, that pain to go away from that shoelace that's hitting the bottom. So maybe it's something they'll have to go back and uh, take a look at and see if they're going to redesign that somehow in future models. But if you do put your finger underneath, you're going to feel that knot. And if you have a bigger foot wearing thicker socks, you're going to possibly feel that uh, thing protruding. So definitely, that's one of the key points of this whole review. Was I was wanted to bring out was that portion of the shoe. And also, for me, actually the right side of the shoe for some reason was more painful than uh, the left side. And given that it was the only shoe pretty much in my whole shoe lineup that caused this much pain, you know, this hyperpause material here, in case you can see there's kind of some glue marks there coming. I had to test it in the LeBron 12 and see if I had that same effect, but I don't know if, if the this thing was pushed in a little more, but this portion here was pressing very hard against the inner you know, the portion of my foot, uh, which was causing a lot of pain. So I almost had to do what I do, the same thing for the shoelace was kind of stuff it and kind of stretch it out. And that helped out a little bit. It still feel a little bit, but it's a little better now. I did do some testing by removing the, uh, kind of the, the padding there and by lowering my foot about a few millimeters, it did help with that pain on the right side. So, uh, so something I want to bring out, if you guys are looking to shoot, get that shoe, uh, 
you know, be cognizant when you're testing it out. You know, on the 11s too, you know, um, I didn't have that feeling on the side, but uh, I know some people had mentioned, you know, on the top portion here with this material, you know, it kind of pressed down and there was no give and it was kind of tight there. I even, uh, when I tried this on, I even went up a full size. It still didn't get rid of that on the 11. So this is about it, guys. Um, so I just want to bring it out, doing on feet, and uh, for the most part, it's it's a nice fit. Oh, actually, one other uh, key element of the shoe, you know, it doesn't have that tongue type of design on there. As you take a look here, it's almost got that kind of shroud, a uh, you know, booty type like design, very similar. Take a look, you know, kind of like a Nike Free, you know, has that uh, inner lining type design. If you compare those two, so. That's not going to give you much give if you're, you know, your foot's kind of big in terms of your foot being able to uh, expand out with it without a, you know, a normal type tongue on the shoe. So be cons of that as well if you're purchasing the shoe. Uh, for me, if, if it seems to fit well. And if, look at the color of the shoe. Uh, it's more of a darker color. I'm going to bring out some other purple ones that in the lineup I have to kind of compare the colors. You know, uh, see if we can get a good look of all of them yeah so those those are kind of the other purples you know the the bark deposits the, the new one the lightning 534 by KD and the hyper dunk 2014 so those are the purples you can see this kind of a this particular one's more of a darker one you know shade you know you can see the, the other purple on the top part kind of matches the KD there but you know it's more of a darker color in case you guys are looking to get that shoe so just uh, other than that, you know, there were some other, um, you know, some clothing lines, some socks, some shirts. I'll bring it up on the screen here that you could have purchased with the shoe as well. And that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do non-feet, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching.